we got a few more jimmies. Now, Jimmy the Scav here was really fun to make. I had a lot of fun putting them together, and I could spend weeks just moving little bits around, adding details, and tweaking things, but I have a game to make. So I decided to slap together a few more guys with a few different weapons and things like that. And here we are. A whole little crew full of Jimmys ready to hit the waves. These are by no means finished designs, they are just enough to tell who's who on the battlefield as I test out some mechanics for my game and some designs for the miniatures. Now the nice thing about Jimmy's model is that it's pretty simple. So once he was set up, I could slap a few polygons in the right place and start working on more weapons. I decided that the simplest weapon to do next would be a sword. And I liked how it turned out, so I gave him two. Thus, Jimmy the Second was born. Next came Bob the Bowman. This one was a pretty quick little sculpt that hardly took me much time at all. And I think it turned out pretty good. Then there was Shield and Hatchet. I may have started to run out of creative names for these guys a little early, but that's fine. They do all happen to be basically the exact same pose, minus a few little tweaks here and there for some of the weapons, but it's good enough for now. I think it's a good proof of concept, and we'll save more details for later. Once I had all of those weapon types set, uh, five sets, enough for one member of each crew in my game, I decided to print them out and get them ready. And actually, I decided to print two copies, so I could have a little, little crew battle. Even though I'm pretty happy with these guys, there are still some definite flaws in my designs and my prints. So this does provide a kind of good opportunity to take a look at some of the problems that you might run into when making your own minis, at least as far as I've found so far. First, there is the scale. Jimmy here is supposed to be a 28 millimeter model. Well, not exactly. He's supposed to be 32 millimeters which is apparently what everyone has decided 28 millimeters means. But even then, he's still kind of small when compared to the other miniatures that I have coming out of my printer. Now, I'm not sure if this just has to do with his proportions or if there's something else happening here that I'm not really familiar with yet. So feel free to let me know if you have any tips or ideas on how to get him to look right at this size. This is especially noticeable on the weapons. In Blender, they look great. They fit his hand, they seem about the right size, they're the right length, but once they come out of the printer, they're all spindly. Now I guess this is just part of the process that I'm undertaking here and getting used to it, and maybe I just need to bulk everything out a little bit to make him fit in right. Finally, especially with that small scale that I'm working at, I need to figure out a little bit more about how to support properly. I've been just running Chitubox pre-supports up until now, and it's mostly worked fine, but there have been a few failures. Part of the reason of this is definitely the model itself. I got a little overzealous on the width of his blade there, but 
Another thing is just figuring out exactly how these guys print the best uh, on their back, forward, upside down, on their feet, however it works. Mm, I gotta kind of figure that out. And that seems to be a little bit of trial and error so far, mm. but I'm sure I'll get used to it eventually. Anyway, aside from all those little minor nitpicks, I at least have a full crew, two full crews ready and printed up. So I guess I'll finally have to get around to painting them. But before I do, I've got to put them to work. So stick around here on the channel if you want to see these guys in action and eventually someday see me try to paint them the best I can. And head over to my Instagram at Deluvian Chronicles if you want to see more works in progress. Anyway, that's it for now. It's kind of a short one this week, but I promise there's some good stuff coming out. So stick around and I'll see you then. Bum 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 bum